I see myself as a tree. I am rooted in this ancient tradition of Syrian music and culture. By the same time, my branches can go anywhere. The Qanun is one of the most traditional instruments in, in Syria and the Arab world. If you translate the word Qanun literally from Arabic, it means the law. It sets the pitch for the rest of the ensemble to tune. Maya is an exceptional musician. I was captivated from the moment I heard anything in the studio. She's a brilliant virtuoso player. The instrument has a wonderful range of tones, or she manages to make it have a wonderful range of tones. When I first started playing the Qanun, I was slightly intimidated by it. I think partially because I am a woman and I'm one of the very few who play it. My colleague told me about uh, Maya. The story was intriguing, you know, that uh, a Syrian woman who became very skillful, very uh, virtuoso on this instrument, which is usually played by men. She's opening new doors in terms of the way she plays it. She's added to the, to the instrument um, a percussion player who's on most tracks, although not all, a cellist who's on pretty much all of them, again, not all, and then an oud, uh, which is an Arabic stringed instrument. Sometimes a musician comes to me and, and says, well, I really think it should be like this, or I can do this. It's a dialogue. It's, a, it's an open process. One of the points of the record is to disrupt some of the stereotypes of Arabic music. She's not trying to play Western music on the canoon, but she's bringing influences from outside the tradition into her compositions. I think those who are expecting a traditional record will, will be surprised. It's not until 2011 when the war started in Syria I started writing my, my own music. I was sitting in my flat in London in a hot summer's day and uh, I was watching the news. It just hit me that there is a possibility that I will never go back. That I will never see my, the people I love and the places I love. From that moment on, I have been writing. I found my power through playing the instrument and I find it very liberating. If you're in your element, there's no fear anymore. It is a power instrument. It's a feminine power to me. <laughs> it's a kanun. It's the law. <laughs>